Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and today we're going to be doing our budget for August. Alrighty, so I do realize that this is probably going to be a little different because I realized that I already laid down the stickers for when I had the releases. I did the spread in here. Why? I don't know. <laughs> so, um, it's already set up for August, but we can definitely just lay out our variable together. I am so sorry. I completely forgot that I did that when I had the release video for the monthly budget kits. I think the reason why I did that was because at first I was going to be using another plum paper planner to keep them separate. I ended up deciding to just keep it all in my main binder here. Yeah, I promise next next month I'll definitely be doing it on camera with you guys. As for these color saturations too for the, the scripts, I ended up darkening them so they're not going to be this light. So they're going to pop out a little bit more. Because I realized when I did the spread, it was bothering me that it was a little bit too light. So we're setting up our variable income because I'm going to be writing down the estimated numbers with you guys. So originally I wasn't planning on showing any type of income at all on my channel just because, I don't know, fear really, but I'm, I am going to just at least do estimates with you guys. For my estimates, I'm actually going to challenge ourselves to estimate lower. I don't want to say how much. Of course, that's up to you. I, I am still very shy of truly exposing how much our income is. I'm hoping that I'll get comfortable as time goes on so I can just be completely transparent. But for right now, it's just kind of a comfort thing that I don't want to show. But I will at least do our estimates just so you guys can see a number. And for that estimate, I'm actually going to do a zero base balance with that estimate. So whatever extra that is past that, we're just going to put directly into our savings account. So let's go ahead and do all of our paychecks. We get four paychecks between me and my husband and then the rollover for whatever is extra from last month. I This is gonna be my second monthly budget with me, with you guys. And this time, since I am going to be showing my estimates, I know for sure I'm probably going to be confusing as heck. I am really sorry. I promise as time goes on, I will get better and I'll learn to be better with explaining. So for the estimates or expected amounts, I'm going to put it less. And again, whatever the actual amount and whatever the variable is, we're going to just throw that completely into our savings account. So we can kind of just do the zero base budget with you guys because that's what we usually do. And this is also because we've been struggling with saving. So we're going to really try to force ourselves to save whatever extra bit that we can. So for the expected, for every single paycheck, we're going to put $1,300. i am not sure why. We used to be really, really good at saving, but I feel like we've been focusing sinking funds more. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but this is what it's, our estimate is going to it's gonna be. And then our rollover, we actually already know that last month we had a leftover in our monthly budget, which was 105. And then also in our bill category, we had an extra like $125 too. So let's go ahead and just round this to $130. Rolling over $130, and that will be $130 left over. And then the second thing that I wanted to add on here was our cash rewards. If you guys have been watching my videos, you guys know I we love just putting everything on our credit card. As we spend, we still budget everything out so we never have a balance and we never owe anything. The reason why we do that is because we use this so we can keep building our credit because our credit score is very important to us as well as we get 2% for everything. So we usually cash out of our cash rewards every few months. This month, I'm going to go ahead and cash out $180. I'm making it an even number just so it's easier. And we're gonna go ahead and add this up. So from our normal paychecks alone, that is 5200, 5200 plus 130 plus 180. That is going to be $5,510 for this August 
budget. So we're going to go ahead and put that in for our income general. Sometimes I change the name from variable to extra. Honestly, it just depends on my mood. But we're going to put the lines in real quick. We're going to do the estimate, which is 5200 Variable, I'm going to put these numbers in. So that, that is $200, $310. And then the actual is $310. No additional. And then the total for the month is $5,510. And honestly, these budgets with me will probably get really boring because it's the same stuff every single month. It's always the same categories. Nothing ever changes. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this out and then I'll explain it afterwards. So I know that this video is kind of a hot mess. I promise that next month it will be better. And I will definitely do the stickers laid out with you because I know I love watching it. So I'm pretty sure some of you guys really love watching the stickers and lay down too honestly so this is what it always looks like every single month this is always what it looks like so down here the variable in specs is for our bills these are all of our fixed bills and these are all of our variable bills we actually know how much our gas is going to be so that actual amount is going to be $30.48 honestly starting next month I might just lower this by $100 and have just $50 for this, just so we can try to lower our bill amount. But that estimate every single month is $3,200. So all these fixed expenses and these variable amount guesses, all of this combined equals $3,200. As of now, we don't know what our electricity is or our mobile yet, so we'll find those out as the month goes on. But let's go ahead and pick out our monthly budget amount. So our monthly budget, this is going to be probably the same as usually 300 for groceries, 400 for eating out. Yes, I know that's a lot, but we have a really bad habit that we have to try to fix. And then $100 for all of the other categories. This equals $1,000. So far, $3,200 plus $1,000, that's $4,200. That leaves us with $1,310 for these last three categories here because we are doing the zero base together with our estimate amount. So for the sinking funds and storing videos, that's going to be another video, but let me finish showing you what I do now. The last thing that I always do just to make sure that this is set. So I'm going to set up the weekly balance as well. This page is going to be the weekly check-in. This will be the weekly balance. This is the storing funds and this is the sinking funds. So let's go ahead and set that up real quick. Okay, so for the weekly balance, I have my sheet here. I have two of them just in case you guys have like a bunch of accounts that you want to keep separated. But for me, I only track those four categories and I have those four categories in one account. So I will show you guys that in a second. Whoops, accidentally broke it. That's okay. What we know is I track four categories, a bill category for here, monthly budget, sinking funds, storing funds. Those are the categories that I track because all four of those categories is in our second checking account. And that's how we balance it because we don't use cash. We need to be able to balance our electronic account. So I'm going to count out four. I need a nap or what but everything's crooked
And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the lines down. For week one, this is going to be from the first to the seventh. Week two is from the eighth to the 14th, then the 15th to the 21st, 22nd to the 28th, and then the 29th to the 31st. Four categories is bills, monthly budgets, sinky funds, storing funds. So the last thing that I do is I also write the starting amounts for each one. So for bills, we know that we always estimate every single month $3,200 to, uh, to cover all of our bills. Monthly budget is $1,000. So that's what we have one thousand dollars for monthly budget and then thirty two hundred for bills since all of this added together is thirty two hundred and then for sinking funds and storing funds we'll be able to write those two out after we do our sinking funds and storing funds and that's going to be in a later video so that is actually going to be it for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it i know that it was um, a hot mess but i will get better for next month <laughs> um we'll just end it at that Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great day. See you guys on my next video. Bye.